you tend to always play like a coach or a mentor. Did this feel at all different for you going from playing like a football coach, for example, to now being an investment type of figure? What was yeah, that one like? goes with sports and the others high finance and dealing with tech and uh, a story that's never been told before. And that's what makes it so interesting. When I first read the book, I realized that this is a story that, uh, that not many people know. And then my question was, how can people not know this story? Uber is such a, a integral part of so many people's lives, and especially during the pandemic and everything. How is it that people don't know the, the story behind Uber and Travis Kalanick and Bill Gurley? and all the other people that were involved in, in how this came about. What is this tech? Who's building this tech? What are we doing with this tech? What are they doing with this tech? And how is it affecting us in ways that we not just know, but don't know? That's what interested me about the story, not so much the, the, the leadership part of it, but, but being able to be part of a truly American story that, that also raises, hopefully raises really important questions that should be part of the natural dialogue of, of, of our society. And I'm assuming that that doesn't go on only because I never even heard of this story. I had no clue that all this had taken place. And I, I find that kind of stunning. I think a lot of people will uh, find it interesting and new. The people who are involved in making uh, this particular Showtime series, they're the best in the business of what they do. And, and they're good people and uh, it shows in the, uh, you know, I've seen the first four put together episodes. They're not, uh, they're not completely finished. There's, you know, the things that I've seen so far have some temp music and colorizing that needs to be done and what have you. But um, it's quite obvious that uh, it, it's going to be a, it's going to be a really good show. That's why I joined in and that's why I think it's exciting. And, and that's why I also think it's important. I put a lot of trust and faith in the fact that um, the writing is going to not take me too far out of accuracies and yeah there's a there's a tremendous responsibility um because even within the writing you're still making decisions on your own as the actor how you're going to play a thought or an emotion or or what have you which can have huge effects i want to protect the character that i bring but there's also in this case it's not just a a real person's life that i'm portraying but it's a real person that's still alive and that's that's to me is even more daunting do you really want to get it right and you know you can't. I mean, you cannot get everything right. You're at best throwing, uh, you know, you're throwing rice at the wall and hoping some of it hits. And that's part of the the job that you have working your character and is uh, making those decisions. And yeah, I take them. I think they're important, um, both for the story, but also personally. Did you reach out to Bill at all? I did not. I uh, I started that process, and then before it went too far. Um, I had I had stopped it uh, due to the fact that I also needed my freedom to do what I was going to do, and I didn't want to be um, uh, influenced by someone else because what whatever I would have heard uh, would have I would have taken very seriously, and it would have altered something that it would have became something that I'm not trying to do. This isn't a documentary; it's a different way of telling this story. But no one's claiming that this is a a documentary so um i didn't need to go into that realm and for the character that i am playing uh, with the role that i have in the script um, the words that i speak and what i do in the show that wasn't necessary and yet i i could still feel comfortable with not um betraying the character i think living or the one that i've created inside myself mm -hmm.